Yo, so what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, you read it right. So on this video, I'm basically gonna go over how to prep your products for Amazon FBA because I know, you know, I've been getting DMs lately that, hey bro, I'm trying to do my first FBA shipment. I'm not sure how to do it, how to prep it. So, you know, that, that, that fear alone of just knowing how to prep it is scaring me from doing FBA. And some of you are just doing FBM currently. And although I love FBM as much as the next person, not really <laughs> um you know fba is gonna really scale your business way further than a lot of you guys think you know it's gonna help you send shipments to amazon they'll be fulfilling the orders they'll be answering customers questions leaving you with time to you know continue sourcing more products and you know finding potential more profit and making more money instead of having to do orders yourself doing fbm you know so but yeah, so exactly. So like I said, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to prep your products for Amazon FBA. Uh, i got a few products right now with me. Uh, so i uh, got a bit of everything. So I mean, I'll just go through them one by one and we'll go from there. So, you know, one of the very first things when it comes to FBA and sending, you know, prepping your products for Amazon. Uh, one thing you need to know, actually, is that you know Amazon when you create your shipments on seller central or if you can use inventory labs or any software that creates shipments for you you know it will tell you specifically how you need to prep your products so it'll tell you if you need to poly bag it if you need to bubble wrap it maybe if you need to box it or something so you know go based off that and you know you can just follow the guidelines for those products but another thing with prepping products is that most of these guys is kind of common sense you know so if you have some type of common sense, then you should be fine on how you prep your, pro uh, prep your products. Sorry. So let's go over a few examples. So for instance, this uh, Buffalo Wild Wings mild sauce right here. You would think at first glance this is glass, but it is not. So this is one product I tested before. I don't currently sell it anymore, but it's made out of plastic, you know, so it won't bust or anything. At least not if you purposely try to bust it you know the top it's wrapped up nicely nothing will leak out you know so it's good it's sealed like something like this you could all you really need to do is get an f and skew label which let me see what I have in there. Uh, yeah I apologize I just thought I had some with me right now but I don't but basically you would just get your f and skew label you know your own customized f and skew label which you will print out through Seller Central or Inventory Labs. And you know, and this is a grocery product. So another thing with grocery product guys is that you need to have the expiration date showing. And if you use Inventory Labs, you know, it'll actually print out the expiration label with the FNSQ barcode. So all you simply do is just cover this barcode. Uh, something circular like this, I would suggest going sideways just because if you go like this, it might make it harder for them to scan it, you know? And if you have a scanner, you know, and for sure try to scan it like that and if it's not scanning then it's not going to scan for Amazon and therefore they're going to make you request this product sent back to you and you're going to reprep it and then send it back again and so you know that takes time that takes money and so much so but something like this just slap a label and you're done all right you're done with this product you can put it down you don't need to worry about the product whatsoever now let's talk about other type of products so let's take for example this pepper home decor product now this is made out of like some type of glass or you know breakable material color so but this is another product we need to sell we're not selling it anymore ourselves i mean some of you are more than free to try to go check this product out but something like this if you send it just like this it's gonna break i mean literally even if i pr drop it just from right here into the ground this will shatter completely so again, common sense guys, okay? When it comes to prepping your products, you gotta use common sense. I mean, think about, you know, think like a customer. If you bought a product on Amazon, how would you want your products prepped, right? Like, how would you want them prepped? So in this situation, you know, you could just, for sure, you're gonna need bubble wrap. So something like this, you know, wrap it up. Now, depending how, I don't know, um, I guess worried you are about your own products, this might not be enough it's just one layer so something like that it will probably bust so you know something like this grab a little tape tape it up add a second layer and if needed add a third layer or you could just layer it like this and if you have boxes get custom boxes from a manufacturer local manufacturer box manufacturer 
and then you know once you bubble wrap it box it up you know tape it up nicely and then you put your infant skew label on top of the box so that way Amazon knows that you know it's fully prepped like that there's nothing else they need to do aside from shipping it to the customer now again so that's for glass products okay so again just use common sense guys okay would you want something coming like that with no bubble wrap you know it's gonna come damaged no right so yeah again it's all about common sense guys so now we've got a few more products so let's take this propel drink mix right here this is something we also need to sell so now something like this this is a very light product it's you know nicely sealed in a box you know it it's very light but now from a glance something like this does have a possibility of being crushed but something like this you know honestly guys i would just press a, uh, put a label on it just slap the f and skew label at the bottom slap it on there and boom you're done okay but again we all have our own preferences i know certain sellers they'll they like to poly bag every single product and although that's fine and dandy and whatnot, you also gotta think about the time and money you're wasting by doing that also, okay? Like for example, this one. Like I mentioned earlier, this is nicely already sealed. It's in a plastic bottle. It's not gonna bust unless you purposely try to bust it. So there's really no need to poly bag something like that or even this, okay? Like something like this, I mean, why are you gonna waste a few cents and an extra few seconds, you know, trying to poly bag it basically? Like it just makes no sense to do that but again each seller has their own preference that's just my way of thinking that's how i prep my products and honestly i've had no complaints it's just sending stuff like this like that okay and if i do it's probably one or two and it got damaged during amazon's time and so when it gets damaged when amazon ships it they'll actually refund you for that product so all in all you're not even losing anything no but again that's just me some of you may disagree that's perfectly fine that's just my way of doing my products so now let's talk about bundles because I know this is probably for some of you get really confused about you know bundles. So right here, I got two method soaps that you can buy from Walmart. Uh, this is this was for a three pack. There's another flavor that goes with this. So I just don't have it on hand currently, but and the price is bad. So if you guys want to go look for this product, by all means go ahead. But chances are it's not going to be profitable. I mean I'm done with this product honestly. But you know something like this. This is a hand soap, and as you can see, the top, if you push down on it, the soap will come out. So something like this will need extra prepping. So, you know, something like this, you're definitely going to want to put a seal or some tape of some sort to cover this just so it can stay put. And, you know, you want to do that for both bottles. And so, oh, I don't got the third bottle, but let's just assume it was a two-pack, because the other one was a three-pack, so it's still the same thing. So something like this, you would have to poly bag both at the same time. So, and you know, as you start getting more into the Amazon business and you start buying supplies, there's gonna be different sizes of poly bags. So this one's an eight by 10 poly bag. And then this one's a bit bigger. This one's a 12 by eight poly bag. Uh, I usually use 11, 14 poly bag for these, but I just don't have it on hand right now. But so basically what you would wanna do now let's just assume I taped this, I sealed it right here. You just put it in there. You know, have both. Just like that. And then you want to just like wrap it around. You know, take off the little seal for the poly bags. Wrap it nicely. And all in all, you know, it should stay put. So this is like it stay put like that, not too loose or anything. And now these poly bags that I buy from I Love Supplies, shout out to them. This ain't no sponsor or anything. I'm just loving the poly bags from them. They will already have the warning suffocation label on the poly bags. Now you do need this for your products when you're sending them into Amazon. So if they don't have this warning label, you can't use them. And so, and the best thing about this is that the ones from I Love Supplies they already come with the ready to ship uh, label on it so this notifies the amazon workers that hey this two pack right here this product it's ready to go you don't need to do nothing else you don't need to cut it open and you know separate the bottles it's good to go 
So, you know, having all that saves us from having to buy do not separate stickers, which we need to use a lot. And with those stickers, you would just essentially put them on the outside of the bag, and Amazon will know, hey, you don't separate this product. But yeah, so once you do that, you have it nicely, you know, bagged up. Then what you want to do is just slap in your F and SKU label anywhere on the bag, just not covering any of the letters whatsoever. So please don't put them on any of this covering. Look for an empty spot, slap it on there, and you're basically done prepping the spot, okay? And you know, another thing is like you want to go through certain bags, test out different sizes. I mean, if I put this peanut butter on that big ass bag, it's gonna be way too much uh, space. But let's say I was poly bagging this, you know. This would fit perfectly on this one. Uh, so, but something like this peanut butter by itself, I wouldn't probably bag. And so, just like that, it's nicely covered. You know, just take out the seal, seal it nicely. And as you can see, the barcode is exposed, so you can just slap your label right here. And you're basically done with that product too, okay? And so, that basically is how you will prep your products for Amazon FBA. So, I mean, and anything else, like, just again, common sense guys, okay? If you think it's gonna get crushed or it could get crushed potentially, then polybag it or uh, bubble wrap it. it, does not matter. So just use common sense, you know, if something is loose. Oh, and another thing is, you know, like certain products, uh, I have it over there, but I don't wanna, you know, miss out on the video. So, no, let's use this. So this is a hairspray mist fan or something. So something like this, uh, you know, this is a good example because something like this where this product is exposed, like the actual product is exposed, you will need to poly bag. So for this particular item, you're going to have to uh, poly bag it just because, you know, the actual product is exposed. Uh, something like this, you know, it's not exposed. It's sealed nicely. It's a sauce. It's good. So, you know, not to cause any confusion to you know, some of you guys, so I apologize. And so yeah, so some of the tools you're basically just gonna need is just poly bags, if it's skew labels, maybe separate stickers, and that's only if you uh, don't have poly bags with that writing already. And some other things you might need is some of these uh, Scotty peelers. Sorry, lost my train of thought for there. And really, these are just if you do a lot of clearance products, you want to take those stickers off. You know, th these will handle the job really nicely. Uh, I've stopped buying these because we don't do clearance stuff anymore. So these are kind of not used to me honestly <laughs> but some of you it may be some of you so hey if you do clearance go ahead purchase them i mean they're on amazon for like 10 bucks for a whole pair or something like that but yeah i mean all in all that's basically it i mean i got this product right here so something like this if it were a one pack it's sealed it, i mean it's plastic it's not glass slap a label that's it and the reason I say just slap a label is again, you just want to save time and money and not waste too much time prepping, okay? Because uh, as you start scaling more and more and you start prepping more items, time makes so much difference. And yeah, time is money in this business as you start scaling. But aside from that, guys, I mean, that's basically it. I mean, and once you have your prep products and stuff, just simply go on the software you're using, you know, scan them in the whatever box that they have. So for me, I have Walmart boxes. I mean, you can use any of these. Buy them from Walmart. Literally, you know, get a tape gun, tape it up, and then one by one, you start putting your products in there. And yeah, I mean, assuming that they all go to the same location, you should be perfectly fine. So, but yeah, all in all, you know, just fill up your box. Make sure it's not over 50 pounds, please, guys. Do not, you know, you know, make sure you have a scale or something. But make sure your boxes do not overweight know over 50 pounds because they will ding you and they will uh, I think charge you a fee or something for doing that so please be careful don't make them too heavy and I guess just, just use common sense you know put heavier stuff at the bottom and then work your way up with lighter stuff so you know and like that you're able to have boxes really well, well packaged for Amazon FBA and so with that being said though guys that's basically it that should cover basically everything as far as prepping boxes for Amazon FBA and if you have any further questions or if I confused you in any way, be sure to leave a comment down below or uh, you know, hit me up on Instagram, you know, just shoot me a DM. And aside from that, I'll just be glad to help any of you guys. But without further ado, guys, just going to wrap it up. And peace, man. On to the next one.